Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Francisco. Nice to see you. Carol, Karki, good to see you. Glad you're here. I am Pearl Manhattan, and this is Express Yourself Healing Through Art. And today is part four of our farmhouse kitchen decor for a tiny kitchen. Um, golly, can I think of any longer names for anything? Oh, it's been a week, hasn't it? Um, yeah, it's been a crazy week. And uh, don't mind my hands. I have paint and ink all over them. Um, made it to the Dollar Tree. If you're keeping up with my Instagram, then you have seen some pretty cool things that I've got going out in my Etsy shop. I'm doing book cards with keepsake boxes. What's a book card? Well, it's a card that's more like a book. Uh, these cards have an inch thick spine and the cover is decorated uh, and then you open it up and on the right side it's decorated but on the left side there's a flap with a piece of designer paper to write your own message for the recipient I don't put don't usually put any kind of greetings or sentiments that are specific in these cards because I want them to be general if you want to make it a birthday card or whatever that's totally up to you you do that with your message and to make these cards I went and bought some ephemera <laughs> and um, which one the bicycle one or the uh, the butterflies one I've posted I think I've posted five in the last couple days I've really been on a streak um, I've got a project coming up in April that I want to devote a lot of time to and so I'm trying to get my store stocked up. I did put the Haunted Mansion cards up and I'm sorry but they sold out in about six hours. I will be making some more. I'm <laughs> just saying. But I Dollar Tree finds from Dollar Tree this week. I told you I bought some ephemera which is stickers and cutouts and things like that uh, to put into cards and I wanted to show you these stickers I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a package the same stickers different branding different packaging but the same stickers almost exactly sell at Michael's Hobby Lobby and Joann's for starting at five to seven dollars a package I paid a dollar a package for each of these um, this one is, uh, they're puffy, they're plastic, but they're a brass tone. If you can see them, get them in the light, see they, they're um, 3D and they're a brass tone. We got a moped, a bench, an old phonograph, the Eiffel Tower, and a lamp post. These are more traveler oriented, but see they are 3D and they're kind of steampunky looking. These are very steampunk look to them and they say travel, they say best vacation. Uh, I've got a balloon, a kind of a coin looking thing, a globe. Um, they almost look like pins, don't they? They are so nice. And then these this is these are going to be fun cards to make but I'm serious I saw these exactly different packaging different branding but each one of these went for nine dollars each and I got it for a dollar piece at the Dollar Tree and you can order these online through the Dollar Tree here's another one family two different families there one's the rolling pin we got a cookbook an apron um, this one very wild and outgoing and it is dimensional there's there's uh they're raised up i like to go in and put extra little pop dots inside to make them higher because they are kind of thin um these look like wood but they're not but they are 3d let's get them in the light you can see how they are 3d um and i just love those colors i'm on a beach theme uh next month we are doing coastal farmhouse we're redecorating my living room um 
These uh, also come in a rose gold, kind of coppery rose gold. And I uh, absolutely love these. They're very dimensional. Here's some nice uh, marble vases, and they are very dimensional and realistic, 3D. Um, I used this set in a card set uh, in the box and card I just posted. And uh, I used a technique to blend in this with the paper I used behind it. This kind of inspired me, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I also took out these stickers in the window and I hung some uh, bling tape so it looks like there's you know bead curtains or something it just it made it look prettier here's more beachy stuff um, these I thought were nice they look like they're just stickers but they look like little resin blocks and you could use these in uh, in places where you need something that was resin. You can cut them pretty easily. They're they're very thin, and um, but I, I really enjoyed these. I thought these were really nice. These really look like pins to me. They've all got this little gold ring around them, and they look like pins. That one definitely. Um, Here's some more seashells. Here's summer. There's that bikini I've been trying to get into for the last 20 years. Yeah. And then uh, this one, lucky and happy. I can't wait to make stuff with those. Um, but And this is just a little bit. And, you know, here's the butterflies. I've been using these like crazy. See how they got a gold lining on them. And uh, they're different levels. They are 3D, uh, but I these are beautiful. And I've, I've been using them like crazy, and I'm going to be using them some more. Um, but those are at the Dollar Tree. Uh, don't go to the big box stores and spend 7 to $10 a package when you can get them at the Dollar Tree. The next thing I found was these little 24 packs of printer paper. And they, it comes in lots of different styles. And what I'm going to be using this for is cutting it up into notepads or sometimes background paper. This one especially. This one's beautiful. And see, I could go uh, paste this to or glue this or tape it to a piece of heavy cardstock and just cut around the flowers. And there we go. I've made my own sticker. Um, but I just thought these were also cool, so I grabbed up a bunch of these. Um, little batches, so you don't have to be stuck with an entire, you know, package of stuff that you may or may not use. So, let me put these away. Give me a second here. Ugh. So that was some of my Dollar Tree finds. And I told you that I blended the stuff Hi, Casey. Good to see you. Welcome to T-Sketch. Both of you. Oh, my goodness. I am honored, ladies. Thank you for being here today. Um, sometimes I have a background paper that might be a light color beige or off-white or white, and I want it to blend into what I'm doing. And in the set that I just posted on my Instagram with the bicycle, I use this technique. These are little sponge daubers. You get two in a pack from Dollar Tree. Uh, much better deal than going and buying the Tim Holtz version. And all I do is I take my stamp pad, and this is a CraftSmart stamp pad. You buy them in a package of them, like six of them for $10, I think. Um, oh, see, everybody, Casey and T-Sketch, they are my music sisters. Uh... We go way back. Um, Casey is such a talented vocalist and also an upcoming music producer. And T-Sketch is a rapper and vocalist and a music producer. And together they are Phenom Rhythm. And they are amazing people. Lots of talent. So much talent. Um, but I just, I dab my dauber into my ink pad. 
get it all inked up and then very lightly with circles and if you saw my haunted house cards all I did was uh, the haunted mansion cards all I did was run an embosser run the paper through an embosser first and so when I did this it only caught the parts that were standing up and I know my lights are really bright I'm still working on my lighting here so bear with me I will get it up closer to the camera but can you see how it's just giving it this misty it's dark on the edges and you can do this with any color if you want to take a piece of excuse my keyboard <laughs> you want to take a piece of paper and make it look older you do use a copper or a light brown stamp pad and you just circles and then let's hold it let's get it up here maybe you can see it up here there we go see how it the edges are darker and you can take and turn a white piece of paper into a different colored piece of paper and like I said these are dabbers or daubers uh, you get two to a package you get a big one and a little one you can see I've been using a little one a lot for my black ink but um and uh this one we can go back over the corners and dirty it up and sometimes you'll get little swirls and you just blend them out just like putting on a blush just like you put on um like a cream blush and you just rub it out but anyway that's our technique of the week that I was going to show you. Then I found some other cool things while I was out, not necessarily at the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to share. You know, I've been talking about um, matte chalk paint. And uh, I did pick up some Waverly at Walmart. This is the most common brand that the crafters are using today. Uh, but instead of the paint when I was there, I picked up white wax and I told y'all I was going to figure out how to use this and I'll show you next time. Well, I'm going to show you in a bit how to use this. But um, I did find some white and this is called River Rock. This is linen. It's kind of an off-whitey and this is River Rock. It's kind of a dark grayish blue not quite black it's more of a blue gray dark blue gray well, there it's on my thumb you can see it there it is we'll swatch it <laughs> there we go um and i picked those up for five dollars on clearance they were 11.49 and they were in the clearance department for five dollars each can't beat that price um can't beat that price at all and then the white wax I'll show you in a minute all right I found this at the Dollar Tree this is a bamboo cutting board and I saw it I grabbed four of them because I was like I don't know what I'm gonna use that for but I'm gonna use it for something so here is the bamboo cutting board and I took one out and I took the plastic off of it and this is the regular side. I took the other side and I put that white wax. I sloshed it on with my wonder tool that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, it's a uh, silicone foundation spreader, <laughs> but it works great for hot glue. It works great for spreading things. And you can paint with it, you can do all sorts of stuff. So I. Uh, slogged it on with uh, my little silicone toolie deal and then uh, polished it off with a paper towel and you can see the difference let me get it over here kind of halfway out of the light this is dark this is kind of a dark blonde color and this just kind of aged it up made it look like it had been you know washed a bunch of times and kind of lightened it up so that's what the white wax does okay 
And then I thought, and uh, I don't have my hot glue gun on because I knew these wouldn't get dry in time, but I found this package in the kitchen thing. It's a cutlery set, is what it's called. And on the front of them, they're little wooden, like balsa wood, I wanna say. Um, maybe bamboo, but probably balsa wood. Um, but they've got these little uh, pineapples and I didn't want gold pineapples. Um, so I had to go to the home. Well, I went to, we have a McClendon's hardware, but you can get this at Lowe's, you can get it at Home Depot. Um, but I had to go buy this little sander and it's called a mini sander. This part is squishy, very squishy and soft and easy to hang on to. Um, it's not hard, it's very soft, mm -hmm. and it's got a little groove for your finger right here and right there. And then the sandpaper on it, this is Velcro, and it comes with a bunch of sheets of sandpaper that have the other side of the Velcro on it. And you just stick it on like that. They've got three different grits. If you don't know about sandpaper, there's hard sandpaper, there's medium, and then there's fine. And I used the medium on here. And all I did was take and sanded just like that to get that gold off of there. And I just sanded it off. And I like this because you can, it's like a kitchen scrubber kind of, and you can use it that way. You can turn around and use the big end if your fingers are, if you're like me, <laughs> your fingers hurt. You use the big end and you just sand that right off and then give it a good wipe. Another trick here. Let me look over here real quick. And grab. Oh, can't find it. I just bought two new shelving units. I'm totally redoing my studio so I can have music and craft going. Um, you can take some masking tape if you or microfiber cloth. If you take the masking tape, wrap it around your finger like you're going to use to get the lint off your sweater, and just rub it gently with that masking tape. That'll get all that little sawdust off of there. You don't rub it hard or the masking tape will stick, but you just kind of glide it over it like that. Make sure you get all the dusty dusts off of it. Again, I've got my Dollar Tree flexible cutting mat here. By the way, don't cut on these. <laughs> they don't stand up to being cut on. Um, thank you, T-Sketch. Anything with nothing. That's my motto. Um, but another Dollar Tree find. These are over in the department with the plates, paper plates, and tablecloths, and plastic foods, in the stationery department, and these make perfect little paint containers, and remember, we got our, this one, I love this because I don't drink my paint water or put my paintbrush in my coffee anymore, so we'll go ahead and set that open. Although the brush I'm using doesn't, yeah, it does. Does it? No. Well, no, it doesn't fit down in there. So I'll have to take the lid off of this. Uh, all right. And we are just going to paint these. I think we're going to paint them this nice Waverly chalk agave. One thing I like about this chalk paint is it's thick and it covers in one coat just about anything. So. Ooh, ah. Ugh, there we go. Ah. Sorry about that. <laughs> See how thick this is? It's, it's very thick, but it covers so nicely. And it actually has chalk in it. That's how it it covers. It's kind of like, if you are an artist, you know what gesso is. It's kind of like gesso paint. Because it covers everything in one little 
one little thing. So we're just going to take and give these a little coat. We don't really need to worry about the back too much because nobody's going to see the back, but I'll go ahead and get in between the tines just for just for our fun and then we can just set it down and get the bottom there we go and the knife get that and then that And uh, after this post, I will go back in the description and I'll put the links for the first videos of this whole farmhouse kitchen series. Whoops. Not the first time I've painted my keyboard. Um, we have made so many fun things for my kitchen. And like I said, I have a tiny, tiny little kitchen. And uh, because I live in an apartment that is ADA, or uh, handicapped accessible um, because my son's disabled, it's made for someone in a wheelchair. So there are lots of wide open spaces and not a lot of countertops. Um, I'm hoping to be able to broadcast from that area soon and you'll be able to see all the cool things we have made they're out in my kitchen and I'm really enjoying it. Now, we're going to let those dry. And my eventual plan is to just take my hot glue gun and glue them onto the board and then turn it over and glue myself a string on the back and it just will hang on the wall and be a cute little hang on the wall kind of thingy and see how easy that was you know five minutes at most the next thing we're going to work on and this is just as simple just as simple you get this over in the craft department it's a uh, very light wood it's a little cup easily found i'm going to peel this little sticker off the bottom and the other thing is over in the kitchen department, lo and behold, look what I found. Miniature, they're little bitty cooking utensils. And they just would look so great on my little countertop. So we're going to paint this little container and use it to display these cute little things. These are silicon. They are definitely silicon. Um, so they won't melt when you use them, but I probably won't use them much because um, I do uh, a lot of microwave stuff. Um, but <laughs> tea sketch, thank you so much. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, tea sketch. And hopefully it'll show up in my um, my little thing up there in a bit. And. Uh, for our trip to Disney World. We are going to Disney World, folks. My son and I are going to Disney World in August. Definitely going. We had the trip scheduled for April of last year. And then, yeah, everybody knows what happened then. But uh, we are going in August to Walt Disney World. Uh, going down to Florida. Going to see some friends. Um get that vacation. CJ just wants to see Mickey Mouse. Um, but aren't these just adorable? Just absolutely adorable. And I'm not going to use the... I think with this one, I'm just going to go straight to the white because I think that's going to pop a little bit more. So we'll get this white linen, this Martha Stewart... Yep, and actually I do music production on Wednesdays, uh, 12 noon on the East Coast, 9 a.m. on the West Coast. I skipped this last week because, well, let's just say that uh, my son and I 
are groundbreakers and policy makers. Um, it seems like whenever something needs to be tested, it ends up being my son and I being the guinea pig. And uh, one of the school policies, um, someone reported my son as having a severe cough and to the health department and they told him he couldn't come to school for 10 days. And I was like, okay, give me the incident report. I want to know who heard the cough, what kind of cough it was, who reported it, all that good stuff. I want to hear all that. And they couldn't provide it. And I said, well, that's because my son doesn't have a cough. Do you honestly think I would send him to school if he had a cough? And so it ended up uh, causing a district-wide meeting where they reviewed their policy and um, I got an apology and my son has makeup days and uh, I'll be back home this Wednesday. Last Wednesday I had to take him for makeup days on Wednesdays for the next couple of weeks. Oh wait, I'm not going to paint that first. I'm going to do this first. I'm going to take my little sander block because these things sometimes can are not finished. They're completely unfinished. So, But anyway, so, but it was a victory. I won. Things go right once in a while. And uh, it... You know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not T-Sketch. I'm not sorry it happened because I woke up again. Uh, I woke up and I remembered the confident, strong advocate and uh, mommy that I am. And that, you know, Learning that my my coping mechanisms from the traumatic times in my life aren't necessarily bad, um, and I can use them for good, you know. And uh, I've been going through a lot of healing. I've got a therapist and working through all this COPD, not COPD, CPTSD. Um, But I'm just knocking these little edges off. Go around the inside because right there. And I mean, this thing is really light. That's why I'm happy to have the little bitty mini silicon. It's a pencil cup, I guess. Um, this is that linen. And we don't have to worry about painting the inside. It can look a little rough because it's going to be sitting so far back on the countertop that nobody's going to be looking inside it anyway. But we will go around the top. Oh, you, you doing your spring cleaning, everybody? You know it's time for that. And I can attest to how good it can feel. I had to hire somebody to come in and haul off some old broken furniture I had and a bunch of cardboard boxes. And yeah, it, it sounded like a lot of money at first, you know? But then I figured if I had done it, I would have had to one, pay to rent the truck because I drive a little bitty economy car. Casey, thank you. Thank you so much, Casey. Oh my gosh. That is that is my Disney World fund. I'm gonna put that in my Disney World fund. Um, but uh, what was I saying? I totally forgot. I got sidetracked. Um, oh yeah, by the time I rent the truck and put the gas in it and everything else, load it up, which would have taken me about an hour driven the cardboard to the recycling place on one end of town, drove the garbage and the old furniture to the dump and paid the dump fees, which are out of this world these days. Um, and uh, done it all by myself and then had to spend 
the next week in bed recovering because I have autoimmune disorders and neurological disorders that work kills me. <laughs> so, and there we go. See, we got that nice little painted in a nice little white. And we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. And I'm going to grab my My crafting room staples here, baby wipes. I love baby wipes. I love to use them to do finishes on wood uh, or on things that I've painted. Um, sometimes using, because they have a kind of a lotion, they don't have oils, but they've got kind of a lotion, kind of an emollient on them. You can use them and they, um, they don't wipe all the paint off. They kind of glide over it and stuff. It just, it makes an interesting finish. And, um, but the next thing I want to talk about, now these are not baby wipes. These are medical grade wipes. Uh, the clean up. I think they even said they're good. They're, they're like medical grade sanitizing wipes. And they go for about three or four dollars a pack in the regular stores. Dollar Tree has them for a buck a pack. If you like heavy duty disinfectant wipes um, and they don't smell bad and you can use them on your skin um, and they don't they won't irritate your skin but they kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. So I like to carry these around in my purse and use these on the shopping carts because you don't know what they put in that bottle, that spray bottle, you know. So, um, but that's another good Dollar Tree find there. And so we're letting our little jar, we're going to let it dry. But in the meanwhile, uh, when it is totally dry, I can set my, uh, my things in it and it goes with my little spice rack so there you go <sighs> and then like I said now starting next Sunday we are moving into coastal farmhouse I'm redecorating my living room I've mostly just got a fireplace mantle and a lot of wall space and I've got to uh so it'll be a lot of things that go on the walls. James Ryan. Oh, hi, James. So lovely to see you today. This is my Fred Astaire. James Ryan and I, we like to do little dance routines in the chat to entertain people when we're in other people's streams. Um, James Ryan is a... Yeah, speaking of cool, James Ryan is the coolest. Uh, speaking of something else cool, if you are um, not aware, tonight Pete McDevitt will be announcing the nominees for the Star Wars Legacy uh, Awards for the Disney community that I like to think I'm a part of. Um, and that's at, I believe, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and uh, over on Pete McDevitt's channel, just search for Pete McDevitt, you'll find it. Um, he said this time there's another hundred and something nominations. Uh, I think that's very, very cool. I love that he does that. Um, and all the people that are involved, it's a, a wonderful little thing. Um, and the award show is always a fun show to watch to see who wins. Uh, well, who is awarded the honors because all of us are winners. I think anybody who actually turns on the camera or mods a channel or anything like that, they're all, uh, you're all winners because, uh, it takes, my mother used to tell me. I would get upset because uh, I would enter into things and I wouldn't win. And she told me, and when I was young, I did not agree with this. I thought it was horrible. But uh, she told me, she goes, you know, a parade 
also needs the people to stand on the sidewalk and cheer as it goes on. Um, <laughs> James Ryan. <laughs> you know, I loved making that song. That song was so much fun. Um, and uh, I, I want to do more. I want to do more for people if they have channels. I want to get into that um, and do some more channel music. Um, you know, what inspired that was uh, Pete asking me to do that Christmas song for the uh, the Nightmare Before, the night, Nightmare Before, the Night Before Christmas uh, reading that the community did. Um, but, uh, and I wrote that one piece, that was just wonderful. You'll get me playing music here in a minute. Um, but uh, I, I just, I love this community and I'm, I'm excited to meet a bunch of the people down in Florida. Um, okay, I wanted to talk about two things, but I have to go get something real quick. So watch the Be Right Back screen. I will be right back. Alrighty, I went and got all the book cards because I figure some people are probably seeing my posts, but they're not familiar with what exactly I'm doing. So this is one of the latest ones, if you notice. It's a beautiful bright pink box. It's got gold butterflies all over it. It's sturdy. It has a lovely gold faux diamond yeah I can I'll go through a stationary set in just a minute this uh, let me finish with this book card um, then the lid sits down close and I mean it, it, it sits pretty tight uh, the lid oh, but you lift it open and inside the box is lined Oops, completely lined and this is the keepsake box. And then this is the book card. And this one is an ombre pink butterfly motif. And inside, you open it up. Oh look, there's that bicycle. <laughs> and um, with the little bling curtains and the little birds and then on this side, there's the little pocket. And this is the, for this one, this is the special paper for you to write a note uh, to the recipient of the card. And then it just slides right back in the pocket. And behind here is just a decorative flower. That is the book card boxes. Now the stationary sets, I happen to have one right here. Oh, this one is quite a popular one on my Etsy shop. I got a lot of people interested in this one. Um, right now, all of my stuff is one of a kind, one offs. I don't mass produce these. All right, you take the lid and when you open the lid, the front falls down. And this is what it looks like inside. Linda's Crafty Life. Hello, Linda. Good to see you. Welcome in. Inside, we have a Velcro closure stamp compartment here. This is for your, your stamps. We have a pen that matches the set in black ink. We have a mini notebook that can be used for addresses or whatever, and this is replaceable. It slides in and out. We have six or eight tags, depending on the set. This one I think is six, but uh, little gift tags or bookmarks, whatever you want to use them for. Um, 
and these are all individual to the set. Um, this one has a little doll with a rose. This pocket, we have a three by three note cards and envelopes. And the set comes with six and they're inside. They've got a white, uh, if they're a dark colored paper, they've got a white paper to write on. And then they're decorated on the front. Each set is different. And then six little three by three envelopes, which are handmade. I do make all my, most of my envelopes I do make. And then you get six to eight of the large cards. And um, I love this set. This is one of my favorites. And you get matching envelopes also. And then it all folds up together. And we put the lid on it and it sits on the shelf just like that. So that is T-Sketch. Watch out for James Ryan. He's 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 a Fred Astaire man. No, don't. He's the sweetest guy I know. Um, uh, and uh, one of the best mod type people. So he's one of the biggest supporters of this community. He's just one of the sweetest guys in this. That's what's in my stationery sets. I also have just card sets that are just cards and envelopes. Uh, I've got some Disney ones up now. Well, Disney-esque. Um, I have tons of stuff. I'm just... Yeah, all can be found in my Etsy store. And I believe... The Etsy store link is down in the description for sure. Am I blowing my mic out here? I'm talking loud. Um, or you can simply go to pearlmanhattan.com. And all my links are up at the top for my Etsy shop, for my discography, uh, for my YouTube, and my Twitch channels. Um, I'm going to go ahead and if there's if if you got questions, go ahead and ask them. Uh, questions, comments, whatever. Uh, and I'm probably going to go ahead early. But see how this this is almost dry now, and it's almost a chalkboard finish it's a very chalky dry whoops except for right there um <laughs> I'm just getting paint everywhere that's what I do um I would love to see you guys on oh thank you so much Carol um let me show you some more boxes real quick there's this one and this one is kind of more geared towards Mother's Day, but like I said, I don't put any specific sentiments inside them. But this box is lined in a little white and pink flowers. And then this, here's that rose gold copper rose. <laughs> and then inside, this one's got a little library card. It's got an announcement of a cotillion. It's got a little tag, it's got some flowers, it's got a bird, it's got a teacup. This is the paper. And I did this, I did that technique on this paper, but I did it with the copper. So it, it just ages the edges and makes it a look a little old. And this one says, may flowers always line your path and sunshine light your day. So, um, one of these takes me about eight hours to make. I'm going to be making some more masculine ones too. This one is the beachy one, the coastal one. I got to do a little repair work on it. Inside is lined with burlap with a uh, white starfish. And then this is, um, Thank you very much, James. Yeah, each one is one of a kind. No two are alike. And then inside this one, we have a wonderful little under the sea here. <laughs> and then we have just a little piece of old legal pad with a uh, little gold shell on the bottom with kind of a seaweed pocket. I like to make my, this is a collage is what it is. It's multimedia. I like the tactile of different textures, different uh, 
feelings, you know. Um, I like them to be multi sense sense things. Um, but and it will be doing. I'll be doing a lot more masculine and a lot more beachy ones. Um, I just I adore this one. This one is just so much fun. But anyway, um, yeah, so if you aren't following me on my Instagram, my Instagram is there. My Twitter is there. And Twitter is where I put announcements about when I'm going to be on or not going to be on. Uh, because uh, I don't have enough followers for the community tab to be useful. Um, and then www.permanhattan.com, that's my webpage. I will be back here Wednesday morning, every Wednesday, from 10 a, uh, excuse me, 12 noon Eastern, 11 Central, 10 Mountain, and 9 Pacific. And we do music production. And who knows what I'll be doing. I might be doing something orchestral. I might be doing something folk. I might be... Um, might be doing who knows what but i'll be doing music production on wednesdays um and this week my son won't be here to interrupt me halfway through the stream by flooding my bathroom so i get i get to do the whole stream without an interruption that should be fun um i'm also going to start going live on twitch again watch my twitter for that twitch is real easy if you have not ever been to twitch you don't even need an account. You go to twitch.tv. Uh, usually I'll have a link in my uh, Twitter for it. And you just go and you just watch. It's just live videos. Uh, if you want to make an account, it is free. Um, you can follow people for free. If you subscribe, uh, it's I think it starts at like $5 a month. Uh, but most of that money goes to the person you're, you're subscribed to. Um, and, uh, I don't know. It's, it's different from YouTube. Uh, it's all live streamers. Um, but I, I like it. I like both platforms. So, um, yeah. And then next Sunday we will be here. I hope you had a good week. If you didn't have a good week, take comfort in the fact that next week will be better. <laughs> that's how I look at things now you know uh, I was watching I'll leave you with this I was watching uh, Facebook videos I get sucked into that rabbit hole and there was a guy I think he was a, a Christian comedian and he was talking about going through a tornado and when it was all over he said you know I think I would have enjoyed it more had I known I wasn't gonna die how much of our lives do we go through things that could be exhilarating and exciting but we're so full of fear as we go through them that we don't take the time to appreciate them I guess not saying that you should go through tornadoes all the time but you know so many times in my life I would have enjoyed I would have paid more attention and had more fun had I known I was going to live through them there's my son right now and um, so remember to uh, appreciate what you've got and what's around you. Nothing can kill you if you don't want to die. Um, don't be afraid. Peace and blessings upon you, upon all you love, upon all who love you. Find your passion, grab a hold of it, and do not let it go. And don't let anybody talk you out of it. If you come across somebody who opposes you doing what you love, cut them out. You don't need them. Uh, seriously, I am proof of that. Uh, a couple years ago, I cut out everybody I knew and I started all over again. You don't need people in your life who are, are negative and who drag you down. Uh, you'd rather be alone, trust me. Uh, love yourself, get used to yourself and find that you are an awesome person no matter what anybody says um, take care of each other we've made it through this we're moving forward uh, roll over the speed bumps and keep going and I'll see y'all Wednesday bye